Imagine life where a simple knock or even a hug can leave huge blisters, which need immediate treatment. This is what 12-year-old Danny Griffiths battles with every single day. But this does not stop Danny pursuing his dream of playing local team football or becoming the next British Boccia Olympic champion. Danny uh, interacts well with his peers in school. He loves, loves football time. One of his greatest achievements last year was actually taking part in the league school football team. Um, I was very proud when he got to do that and it lit him up for quite a few weeks. He, he was so proud of himself as well. Danny uh, has just such self-belief and self-confidence. He talks to anybody. One instance I do remember we were at Everton and there was a lot of older men, you know, obviously supporters who were being shown around the ground as well. And we were on the pitch and Danny walked straight up to the coach and sort of said, why are you playing these players in the team? You know, it's not working. And you just think at the time he was probably 10 and you just think, how do you have that confidence? And all these men were like, oh yes, we agree with you, you know. So yeah, he's just got, he doesn't have any inhibitions, I suppose. Dan's obviously in a lot of pain a lot of the time. Um, some mornings he comes to school and he, he, he can't see through, you know, his eyes have been blistered. Um, he might have the blisters inside his esophagus, so he struggles swallowing. Some days, one, one occasion he didn't eat for about five days because he couldn't swallow. He, I mean, the worst pain I've ever seen him in was when he dislocated his knee dancing on his own and he got really overexcited. The kids were clapping and it was just amazing. The pain he went through was just horrific. I always have this joke that to slow Danny down you need to break his legs, but obviously that didn't slow him down either, dislocating his kneecap, so. My right one's the worst because this is the foot that I kick the ball with. So does it ever cross your mind to think, oh, I just not play football? No, I can't. I have to play football. My neck's always been bad because I'm, mo I'm moving it all the time. I, the, the clothes are always on it. I don't know why my stomach's bad though because this is the thing we didn't get about EB at all. Uh, my stomach, I don't do anything to it but it's bad. And my side, I lie on them all the time at night but they're never bad. So we're like, why? Danny was the boy who was never going to walk and so anything since then has been an incredible. I don't have heroes, you know, famous people, anything nobody really impresses me. But the only hero I've ever had in the last ten years has been Danny. You are the most inspirational person to me. I would go to the ends of the earth for you as I know you would for me. And the, what you go through is definitely something that I could never cope with. I complain about absolutely everything and you just get on with it and that's what I love about you. So enjoy this this moment that you're going to have. <laughs> yeah, people 17.